dana 24. novembra 2017. godine ambasador Bosne i Hercegovine u Kamberi, Australija, njegova ekscelencija Mirza Hajrić, priredio je prijem povodom dana državnosti Bosne i Hercegovine u ambasadi Bosne i Hercegovine u Kamberi. Na prijevi su pozvati ambasadori iz mnogih zemalja koji su se odazvali u većini. Ekipa sa bošnjačkog programa sa TV kanala 31 je prisutna u ovom prijemu i je ovo što su naše kamere zabilježile. Ambasador Bosne i Hercegovine dočekuje i prima goste, ambasadore raznih zemalja i predstavnike vlade Australije. Ambasador, njegova ekscelencija Mirza Hajrić, otvara ceremoniju proslave dana državnosti Bosne i Hercegovine. Hvala što je ambasadu u Bosni i Hercegovine. To je naša državnosti. Ja ću se sada nešto o tome. Ne samo nešto. Hvala što je ovo nešto. Hvala što je ovo nešto. Hvala što je ovo nešto. Um, now I will ask Ambassador Lindal Sachs to tell you what we all know she will tell. <laughs> <laughs> Your Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to propose a toast to the Presidency and the people of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Ladies and gentlemen, Excellencies, allow me to propose a toast for Her Royal Highness Elizabeth II, the Queen of England, 
and the lovely people of Australia. Excellence, please, the Ambassador Lady Del Sachs, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Embassy of Bosnia and Herzegovina and welcome to celebration with us the statehood day of my country. We gather to mark the 74th anniversary of a very important date in the history of Bosnia and Herzegovina. On the date, in a small Bosnian town of Marconić Grad, State Antifascist Council for the Liberation of Bosnia Herzegovina held its session. The resolution adopted reconfirming statehood and legal continuity of the country within its borders. Borders of Bosnia Herzegovina stand among the oldest existing borders in, in Europe. I wish to express profound gratitude to the generations that laid cornerstones and bases to the sovereignty of our country. The fact that we mark this anniversary in a peaceful and stable Bosnia and Herzegovina expands upon that gratitude. We remember the bravery of generations of Bosnians and Herzegovinians that stood against the evil alongside ANZAC forces in the world wars. As a matter of fact, World War I started in Sarajevo with the assassination of Austro-Hungarian Archduke Franz Ferdinand. Not that we are all proud of it. 